Netflix meets personal development to solve this uh, marketing piece for coaches and speakers not having to market themselves because it's like they're having to wear two hats. One is the hat of coaching or speaking, taking that hat off when they need more sales marketing and then putting the sales marketing hat piece on to go and find more clients. It's laborious. 85% of coaches, the stats say, do not want to have to market themselves, do not want to have to pitch. They would prefer just to work within their, their niche, right? They got a niche. They've done the deep dive for years. They're really good at this. But the sales and marketing piece, Jade, is, is foreign to a lot of them. They're not the theatrical person that wants to be on stage, wants to be conducting you know, and commanding the audience. They want to be hiring that person to do that for them, and they want to be doing fulfillment. Hey, I'm Jade Ellison, a multi-passionate creative based out of New York City who's obsessed with personal development and anything business, from marketing, branding, creating online programs to launches, and helping you step into your true self so that you can share your gifts with the world. Gain insights with manifesting, creating life on purpose, and get ready to elevate yourself in ways that will surprise even you. Included in your weekly dose of inspiration, get ready to be entertained, uplifted, and encouraged to take action with simple and easy to apply tips, tools, and strategies that fit into your busy daily life, sprinkled with some woo-woo along the way. From embracing your confidence to mastering success habits, setting achievable goals, and ways to harness positive mindsets and beliefs so that you can kick self-doubt and your inner critic to the curb where they belong. Whatever's on the topic call sheet, I'll help you navigate the raw, messy, and sometimes hilarious truths of achieving success, abundance, and happiness, all while encouraging you to become the best version of yourself. So think of me as your go-to girlfriend, talking over some coffee, getting real, and giving you some amazing advice to go from hot mess to thriving success. This is the Uber Savvy Life and Biz Podcast. I had so much fun with our guest this week. Make sure you check out this bonus recap for the special episode highlights. Grab a pen, a pad, and let's jump straight in. The real gold oftentimes is beyond those borders. So that's what I practice. I, and I'm right there with you. I love expanding the horizon and being open to different thoughts, even if the thoughts aren't necessarily something that I adopt as a belief for myself. I have a lot of respect and openness for all the different viewpoints that we as a human collective have. I mean, there's billions, billions, billions of consciousness on earth. How could we, we're all unique. And how could we all say that there is only one way to think? Yes, there's one creator, one divine, one God. And I love that you said that that's what is secure. That's the truth. And I'm 100% there with you. And I believe I know who you're talking about. That's also in your academy. And I'd love to, I'd like to, for you to actually share about the academy. Sure. But I'd love to also say thank you to her because I believe you're speaking about Lorna. And Lorna was the one who introduced me to your group. So I am also. Awesome. Yeah. And she is so sweet. And I adore her and love her so much because I met her in another Facebook community for creating our online programs and coaching programs. And that was years ago. And she's still in my circle of very sweet, go-to, spiritually connected, really beautiful souls that I feel like we can lean on each other anytime that we might need a collaboration or help. And she has so much respect for what she does and she views it in a playful way, like you said. And she actually might be a guest on the podcast, but like you had mentioned, it's something like, oh, do I want to dip my feet there? Because I'm not trying to push any one way of thinking, but I also want to be open to that. And it's also what I'm curious, too, is the doors that it opens in terms of when you are in alignment with your body, how that opens up other doors. Like you said, you, your, your heart opened up when you were with your friend back last summer and you got this incredible inspiration to create this Facebook community, not only did you do that guy's, that you were going to jump into that guy's paid program after his free workshop, but you had the intuition that you didn't have to. And I'm so impressed and I'm so proud of you for growing your Facebook community to over 2,500 in a matter of six months. That is incredible. And you are giving so much value. And I see 
the happy, inspired, uplifted community members that are there all holding each other up and supporting each other. And it is so cool to watch that evolution with you. Well, I need to give credit where credit's due. It's true I've put in a lot of time, but honestly, Jade, the reason why it's grown this way is because I asked for the wisdom of how to grow the group and then direct things were told to me, direct things were said to me by that source of do this, make sure you do this. And so I, I try to just stay true to what was shown to me because it works. And so I'm thankful that I get to go on this ride because I'm, I'm learning as I'm going and I'm been the recipient of a, a massive blessing and able to be a blessing to others because that, that divine spirit, I believe, is there for all of us to receive and to lead us into truth if we'll listen. Love that. That is incredible. Let's talk about that right now, your academy. So I was invited into the academy and this is something that I would be very open to doing. And I love what you have to offer. So share how anyone could find out more about it, what you're doing here in the States and what, where you're headed with all of this. Sure. Absolutely, Jade. So the Academy is our, one of our paid programs. It's kind of like our flagship program. What it allows is instructors who want classrooms to be able to solve their marketing issue by being able to have classrooms where they teach their niche. Probably more right now, heavily present are our influencer packages because those we're heavily pushing now because people need a mic and need a stage. A lot of people around the world, in the States right now, for example, have a message, have a mission, have products or services. They just need the mic. And so just how Netflix meets personal development is our, once we officially launch in the fall, even though people are already joining and we're already doing business, our instructors are part of that Netflix meets personal development model. The other part of the model is the TEDx talk on steroids. That's what our live events are going to be is we're creating an ecosystem that allows live events to be streamed to our platform where our members that have our influencer packages, they not only get what's included in their packages, they also get to participate in our live events. As an influencer, they get to speak from stage and they get to they do a call to action to stage. And so we're going to be live streaming and recording these events because we really believe that there's so many talented people on this planet that just need to be seen and heard. They know that if they got their message out there, they know to the, the right people are going to put their hand up, Jade, and go, oh, I need to connect with Johnny or Sally or Jamal. That's what they need. And so we are going to facilitate that introduction through our live events and also our online events. So the Academy is a way of for people putting their hand up and go, listen, I don't want to have to do the sales and marketing piece, especially the marketing piece. I just want people brought to me. Then, then that's the people we want to connect with because those are the ones that um, will leverage their ability to teach or to speak and will help solve their marketing piece for them. We'll bring them the audience. That is so awesome. That is so incredible. And for anyone who's tuning in that might be new to the online world of coaching and speaking, being an influencer and speaking on stage or speaking virtually, basically what that means is anytime you see those online events or you get emails that say, come join this particular workshop, that's what the base is, I believe, right, Amos? That's what you're sharing, but it's kind of like highlighting the main speaker, the main influencer, and them also inviting their audience, but having the huge network of Empowered Network TV and being able to just do what you're great at, being the talent in front of the camera or just being that expert with coaching in a specific niche that is important to you, that you want to bring more value to those who you know just need to even find out about you. So is, did I get that right with uh -huh. yeah. the premise of Empowered Network TV? Yeah, we're, we're hitting hard now, our influencers. And so, yeah, they get a mic and a stage. Amazing. And so if, if they are someone that has a message, but they don't have the reach, 
we'll give them the reach. Cool. So specifically, when you say the mic and the stage, so there's going to be in-person events starting this fall? Yeah, we're rolling out in-person events starting in Richmond, Virginia this month. And then we're having our official launch next month in September. Amazing. And we'll be going across the states and different cities in the states before Christmas. And then um, going into Canada next year where I'm from as well. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We're still so, we're figuring out as we go. Of course. Everything I've done, Jade, I don't, I don't have, like I feel my way through life. So I don't create a business plan. That's not what works for me. What works for me is um, get the inspiration, get confirmation a few times that it's the right thing, sit with it, feel it, uh, listen to that guidance, and then jump. And when, when you jump and it's, it's from that inspired place that feels good in your heart, it's like good stuff happens. So everything we've done the last almost seven months of this journey has been primarily just following that. And so that's what we're going to do these live events with and create a win, a hybrid model that's not been done on the earth before. I absolutely love it. And we're coming to the close of this incredible guest interview right now. I love being in your presence. I know that you have another appointment after this, so I will respect your time, even though I'd love for you to stay on longer with me. But I would love to know what you would like to share with our listeners today. And what would you say is the most important reason you feel like sharing their voice now is more important than sure maybe before yeah i would encourage people to follow the yellow brick road so whatever that breadcrumb trail that everyone knows that breadcrumb trail and a lot of times we discount it we say no i'm not worthy i've been through this Uh, you know i'm I'm divorced and i'm deaf kids or whatever the excuses are but i find the more i follow that breadcrumb trail even when back a few years back when I was sleeping on my buddy's couch, because that is where my life was at. I followed that breadcrumb trail four and a half years ago when I left my job and I was like, I want to get into the online marketing space. I don't know how to do it. I started with, I took a Facebook ads, running Facebook ads course, which led me into videography, which led me into sales funnels, which led me into email autoresponders, which led me into YouTube ad stuff, which led me into trying my hand at coaching for a year and led me into writing some books, audio books, one physical book, all to come full circle four years later to realize it was preparatory for me working with coaches so I would know their pain points. So I used to judge the fact that I was following the breadcrumbs. It didn't make sense in the moment. Why the hell am I being led to this thing next? People looking at my life going, why are you not doing this? Why are you bouncing around? And I was like, I don't know. I'm just supposed to do this. I'm following that guidance. So I would encourage people, follow the guidance. It's there for a reason. That inner GPS system is hardwired into you. When I listen to it, the more I listen to it, the better things go. And when I don't listen to it, Jade, shit gets real. I get off course and I'm off my pivot point and I lose my peace. I lose the inspiration. Not that it stops but that I shut off that valve from flowing to me. So I would encourage people to run, run like hell after that inspiration. And if people are telling you otherwise, ignore it. You're on the planet for a purpose. If you don't fulfill your mission, you're going to literally go to your grave with your music in you. You're going to die with your purpose and your passions in you. And that they say is the richest place on earth. It's not Fort Knox. It's the graveyards because it's there that people took the hopes and dreams, the things they never swung for. So I refuse to go down. I'm 47 years old. I've wasted enough time. I am not going to go down with my music inside me. I'm going to go down swinging for the fences. And even if I don't get there fully, I'm going to fucking die trying because what else is there worth living for? You're fucking awesome. I love you so much. That was awesome. Oh, thank you. Amos, my goodness. Yes to all. Check. right there with you. Thank you, Jade. And I'd love to leave our listeners with this incredible quote. They say, a person needs just three things to be truly happy in this world. Someone to love, something to do, and something to hope for. Tom Baudet. So that was such an incredible episode with our special guest, Amos Braswell. And just to recap, with his incredible vision for the future of 
never needing to market yourself again by 2025, where Netflix meets personal development. What inspired him, his vision for entrepreneurs, coaches, and speakers online, stepping into their voice, as well as why it's so important to share your voice and your unique gifts because you were put on this world for a purpose. So Amos, I adore you. I am so thankful to be part of your world and how our yellow brick roads have intertwined. Thank you so much for joining me on this podcast. My pleasure, Jane. Thanks for having me. This is, you're always a joy to experience. You're incredible. I'm so curious, which one of the highlights from this special guest resonated with you the most? Circle that and give it some thought over the next 24 to 48 hours. And if it applies to you, make sure you put it into action because knowledge plus inspiration equals incredible results. So thanks so much for tuning into the Uber Savvy Life and Biz podcast. That was awesome. We appreciate you so much. Stay committed to your vision, take consistent action, and know that great things are on the other side of that door. Because remember, only you hold the key to unlock your dream life. So why not start today? I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Can I just say you're awesome. You just finished an episode of the Uber Savvy Life and Biz podcast. If you like this episode, feel free to leave a nice review and rate it five stars if you found it helpful. But if not, please don't rate it four stars. Just ignore this part. However, if you did like it, make sure you share it with a friend who may find some value in the topics discussed today. Be sure to share it with them because you never know who you could uplift. Also, if you want more, check out the show notes in the description, which would include any links that may have been mentioned in this episode. Are you still listening? Are you waiting for a blooper reel? That'd be a really fun idea to throw in at times. But seriously, are you tired of foggy mornings? Go to jadeellison.com to grab your ultimate caffeine-free boost to supercharge your mornings for success. That's right, your empowered morning mindset checklist. Y'all, great day is just a thought away. Hey, welcome. Oh, and one more thing. When you are, when we're talking, just, I know that you do it naturally, but keep looking to the camera in front of you, in the eyeball of the camera. Yes. Okay, you're the best. Your turn. Okay, all right. I'm gonna go. Huh? I'm gonna go. Okay. <laughs> <Just>. <laughs>